Good morning, Royal Dominion Authority. How are y'all doing on today? What is today? Thursday morning. Okay, how y'all doing on today? I hope that everybody is fine. Excuse me, I look so plain Jane today. I'm really not feeling it, but you know I give all glory and honor to God because I am still here. I'm still alive and kicking. I'm still breathing. I am blessed to be amongst the living. Amen. I hope that you all has been having a pretty great week thus far um shout out to everyone a part of royal dominion authority family shout out to all of you all uh i pray that your your home is blessed i pray that god has strengthened you on this week i pray that he has heard your prayers in the name of jesus and he is working listen i just want to come and give you all a dream a snippet of a dream that i had last night and i don't remember the whole dream i only remember like a snippet of the dream and the dream woke me up out of my sleep right but i was able to go back to sleep but i just like literally jumped up out of my sleep and i have not done that in a long time so i know that this dream is pretty much <laughs> yes listen you i don't know who this word may be for we already know that every word is not for everybody. So take this word to the Lord. Take this word to God if you feel that it resonates with you. But also go into prayer. Listen, because I had to pray as well when I actually woke up from my sleep this morning. Like when I woke up, woke up. So the Lord want me to let somebody know that you have snakes among you. You have snakes that are treading in your environment. It may be your situation, but overall, there is someone that has a snake or snakes or frenemies or enemies or an enemy that is among them and they are treading in their environment. If in the dream, it wasn't like an actual, like a snake that tried to harm me, but it showed itself, right? So I was in this dream and it was like um like a row of houses or homes but the environment of this dream it seemed like a it seemed like a forest or like a jungle there wasn't like a whole lot of trees but the actual environment that was surrounded around the homes were like a lot of like greenery um and it kind of looked there like a little rough a little bit like a forest or like a like somewhere out in the woods or something. I don't know. I really can't explain it. Hopefully somebody could catch on to what I envision, envision in this dream. And I don't know if the house that I was at particularly was my house in the dream, not in my waking life, but just the house that belonged to me in the dream. But I remember going, I don't remember being on the inside of the house. I just remember being outside the whole time in this dream. And I remember leaving like the vicinity of the houses and going somewhere and coming back. And when I came back, there was like a note on the door and it said that I needed to like build or have like a core rider outside so the snakes can easily maneuver basically. And when I look, when I read the note, there were uh, corridors in front of every other house except for the house that I was about to go into, so to say. And when I say corridor, I mean like, you know, some houses like in the front, if you have like a, uh, if there's like an individual that's handicapped, they will build like, uh, not like stairs, but like a pathway for the wheelchair to roll up and there will be like corridors like like um i don't really know what they're called like bars that you can walk like a path so basically the note on the door was like build a pathway for the snakes to uh easily maneuver and I and, and when I seen that, the first thing that I had said out loud, I was like, why would I do that? And in the midst of me speaking, a snake appeared in the dream, but it appeared like it was just floating in the air. It was like suspended in the air. Like, and when I seen that, I kind of like, I was like, oh, no, no, no. And I jumped up out of my sleep because 
in my real life i am very very afraid of snakes like i don't i i don't play with snakes like i don't is there is nothing about a snake that i like period i don't like them at all so anytime i see them in a dream it startles me like i i get very frightened so in this dream i got very very frightened it's like i jumped and when i jumped in the dream i jumped out of my sleep literally and i was like oh no and when i opened my eyes i was sitting up in the bed i was able to go back to sleep right and when i woke up i this morning i prayed or whatever like that but god is saying there is a snake among you and I know this dream could be very well for me, but listen, you all, we are living in a, a, a time where people are doing all kinds of things to, um, what is the word? What's the word? What's the word? Holy Spirit, help me. To masquerade themselves as a person that we think that they are, which in fact that they are not. There are people in our lives that portray themselves as friends and family. And I'm saying like people, and they may very well be family, but I'm saying like people who claim themselves as friends and they're really not, they really have ulterior motives. They really are monitoring spirits. They really are masquerading spirits, looking at your day to day, trying to keep up with what you're doing to stop anything that God may have for you. But let me tell you something on today. I don't know who this word for. Whatever God has for you is for you. Can't nobody stop it. Can't nobody block it. Can't nobody take it away. But you have to be able to stand 10 toes down in the dirt. And there are people that surround you and they're going to try their best to down you. But you got to keep them squares out your circle. Yes, that is a song, but it is so very much true. There are people that are surrounding you playing like they are on the winning team, which is your team because you serve God and they playing like they're your friend. They playing like they're on your side. They're playing like they are there for you to support you mentally, emotionally, whatever, however they could be there for you. They may even buy you things but pay attention to their spirit pay attention to the way they move and they may be the sweetest person that you've ever come across come on i'm gonna be honest but you gotta trust and know the holy spirit and if they don't have the holy spirit in them be careful and if god gives you revelation on who these people are in your life or this person don't go and yell at them and cuss them out and want to fight them and um threaten them don't even let them know that you know that they have ulterior motives or they are not who they claim to be in your life pray for them and keep your distance handle them with the long handle spoon don't open your gates up to this individual this person whomever they may be be careful we are in the season where people are fooling and tricking people and people are falling for the scams and the schemes and the plots of the enemy because it's all the enemy. We got to be careful in this season. We can't, we can't, we got to stay in the will of God. We got to stay in alignment. If God tell you to let somebody go, cut them off, period. It may be hard, but pray. Ask the Lord to give you strength and direction and guidance and strategy and cut them off. Because the enemy only has one job. That's to steal, kill, and destroy. But God, but the Lord Jesus, the one and only begotten son said that he has come to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. So if you want to see the abundance of what God has for you, don't play with the enemy. And God may ha have already revealed to you who the enemy is. I know this word is for somebody. God may have already revealed to you and told you who this enemy is. Don't look at God and call God crazy and say God is a lie. He may have showed you in a dream. He may have showed you in the situation. He may have spoke to you. He may, you may have been reading that word and this person pop up in your spirit. Listen, that's the Holy Spirit letting you know who's for you and who's not for you just because they all buddy buddy and cute with you 
and laugh with you and pray with you, that don't mean that they are on your side. I'm telling you, it's people out here that's praying with people and they're praying against them when they're not in their presence. Listen, I love you all. I got to go. I got to go mind my business for today. But this what I just really wanted to get on here this morning and let y'all know, be careful in this season. I love y'all. Take this to the Lord if you feel it is for you. And we'll talk soon.